Uh, good afternoon, Rachel. Uh, President and owner John Lokes announcing about an hour and a half ago what we first told you about last night on air and, of course, online, that Studio 28, after 43 years, is indeed closing its doors. An emotional Lokes pointing out today that this is the building that his father built, and while his company is healthy, Studio 28 is not. Wyoming losing a building, but not jobs at this point. 55 employees work here. 95%, Lokes says, have been offered jobs with other theaters in his company. Now, Studio 28 opened in 1965. It became the first 20 screen multiplex in 1988 and really started a trend across the entire country before becoming a victim, really, of its own success. That regional draw of moviegoers diminished as other theaters were built around West Michigan. At its peak, 1.7 million moviegoers visited this facility annually in the 1990s. That number is now about 75% of that. I'm no mathematician, but about 450,000 people now. A big drop. The building itself, Lokes says, also no longer efficient. While that and the 20 acres are for sale, and he has discussed that with city officials, he says the bottom line is the old building was no longer efficient enough for this particular business. It has, you know, lots of furnaces, different roofs, four different projection booths. You can imagine the labor costs are higher here than any other theater we have. The maintenance costs are higher here than any other theater we have. And then we saw the sh attendance shrink by 75% from the peak of in the late 1990s. Well, these are unsustainable factors. Uh, we've got to go on. We've got to uh, say enough. We want to go out in style, you know. And as Rachel mentioned, obviously it's a story we've been following for weeks. Many of the tips we receive coming from readers online at WoodTV.com at the Laugh at the Movies blog. And the author, Aaron Lafferty, joining us now. And really a lot to decipher. But obviously this is an emotional issue for a lot of people who have written into you. Exactly. We've been following this for about three weeks. Some of the tips were a little more exaggerated than others. We had to track those down and finally coming to last night when we were finding out that Studio 28 was going to be closing. It's a sad day. You know, this theater has been around for 43 right. years. This is the, the theater where it all started. The first movie was here. The last movie will be here. Here we found out some other things. I'll be putting those on my blog later today. But the last movie will be uh, Sunday, the 23rd of November. That's going to be Madagascar 2. It'll be a kind of a party atmosphere for them. Um, so we'll we'll put all that extra info on there. There's also a chance for people to get. Uh, there's going to be an auction, so you can get some memorabilia. So if you're a big Studio 28 fan, there might be some pieces that you can get through an, an auction that they're eventually going to do. Obviously, we've got two more weeks till till that. Yeah. Happens. And over this 10 days, uh, you will continue to have stuff online about what's coming up each day for folks. Exactly. Or? And there's there's going to be some specials. And for people who are used to coming to Studio 28, there's going to be some transition uh, specials for people to get transitioned into a new theater. All right, Aaron Lafferty, if you haven't seen it, uh, one of the best, by the way, maintained blogs on the web as well. Laugh at the movies. For now, live in Wyoming, Larry Figurski, 24 Hour News 8. Rachel? Sure is. Thanks, Larry. The Lokes family leading the charge in changing the way West Michigan watched movies. Jack Lokes started the Midtown Theater on Pearl Street in 1944. We dug this video out of our archives. The Lokes family opened the Beltline Drive In. You can see the lot and screen in an aerial view. Then in 1965, Studio 28 built right next to the drive-in, opening one screen, and expanded to six screens in the 70s, and in the 80s, 12 screens. In the late 80s, Studio 28 made history with 20 screens, making it not only the biggest theater in the country, but also the world.